All right, so I would end up recording all this without turning on my microphone, so we're gonna have to do this on the fly, so I apologize. But yeah, no, let's just get right into it, as not, right? Now, this character just came out along with Byakia, and I'm not gonna lie, this banner is very interesting because it looks like both characters are designed for guild quests, but both characters have very, <sighs> very big reasons why they're not good for guild quests too. So like, when it comes to very hard GQ, very, very, high amounts of HP, high damage requirements, and high damage output from the enemies too. So you have a lot of protection when it comes to Asnot, but his first strong attack is a 40% magnification pushback attack. Byakia has a 2500 length beam that's very skinny, so it's like their first strong attacks are just not good for GQ. <laughs> Oh uh, man, either way, I gave this character focus plus 400, and the reason for that is simply so that I can get access to 100% crit rate. Uh, this character did get freeze resistance, so it looks like he kind of was skewed for guild quest, so kind of interesting. Uh, either way, I don't really know... I don't know what Caleb's going for with these, with these characters. Now, he did get slow and weaken, which I think is really good, because it does have, in my opinion, a lot of flavor. Like, the fact that like slow will cause the enemies to move slower while not be able to attack as often and weaken will also just completely neuter their damage as well as the, having them take more damage is really cool flavor wise i think that it really is like its own fear it's, it, it's kind of like if fear were a status element right now going into this uh, utility skills we have sprinter plus one multi barrier plus two which is really good considering he does have full stamina only reduce strong attack cooldown six percent then we have debilitator plus five seconds so the slow and uh, will last a lot longer in content like guild quest despite we can maybe falling off very quickly we have freeze immunity debilitator plus five seconds uh sharpshooter so guard break as well as nullify range resistance and of course we have havoc 20 percent kind of an essential skill at this point in the game i mean i, I don't know i, I feel like characters without havoc in 2023 are kind of like just falling off honestly i feel like havoc could be good on nad characters too funnily enough now going into damage though we have frenzy plus two so tons of hits on his first and third strong attack to proc the status elements but i'll be real with you while i was playing with this character it is inconsistent on getting your spiritual pressure boost unless the enemies take all the hits which can be very very hit or miss devastation 40 percent for the soul bomb now when the enemy gets inflicted with the status element we do get damage to slowed enemies 40 percent and damage to weaken enemies 40 percent since the enemies have to be weakened for all this to proc the weaken gets stacked on top of the 50 percent which i think is really 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 uh really good or really bad depending on how you want to look at it because like i said even though he does have frenzy plus two He's very inconsistent damage in terms of getting his spiritual pressure boost. Also, a funny thing to note is that this character actually ended up getting a lot of arena stuff. Like, start power up item plus two, increase special move uses so you get an extra soul bomb, as well as poise. Uh, <laughs> do people still play arena besides extra? Like, <laughs> all right, so let's take him into IT. All right, so we're going to bring him into IT and see how he performs here. So like I said, my dumbass decided not to unmute beforehand, so uh, I'll be doing all my commentary posts while record. Like, uh, this is all post up. I'm, I'm literally just hitting play and commenting as it, <laughs> as it plays. Now, going into this character, this is uh, currently my first time playing this character, so I'm just like messing around with him quite a bit. First strong attack, push back attack, drags the enemy quite a bit back doesn't really drag them as far back as I expected it to. It does go pretty far, which I think is good. Now the barrier with a 16 second cooldown with uh, all the strong attack recharge that we have going on on him. Now I am using the spiritual pressure boost 50% item for Quincy's uh, because I have four of them for some god awful reason. And then we also have the strong attack damage item as well as the spiritual pressure boost 30%, focus 30%, fortification pill, just so that we can stack it up even further. With the focus plus 400 to the T20 skill, along with the full stamina damage, which is 25%, we actually have a 1,000, like, 15 focus or something along the lines of that. You can probably rewind it a bit. 
and that just gives us a hundred percent crit rate which is really 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 nice and you see here that the barrier will pretty much last infinitely as long as i don't take too many hits um i do believe that i start taking hits here just because i do want to see what the barriers look like as i take hits the barrier does look nice though ah right you'll see with the first and second strong attack he actually brings out his little uh I don't even know what they call it, like Bankai Pokeballs. Like. <laughs> oh my god, his voice is so gross. Like hearing some ass not ASMR at 6 o'clock in the morning is not really what I was hoping to be listening to on my birthday. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Full screen third. Now, as I played with Biaki and Asnot, I will say that I do like the way that both of them play, but I still find it funny because I don't feel like either of them are really suited for the content that they kind of look like they were made for. Like, I feel like Biakia and Asnot should have just both gotten barrier boost. I've, oh, dude, if they could both got barrier boost, I feel like they'd be so nasty. Like, I feel like... I feel like I'd actually, like, recommend summoning on the banners to, like, step 10 to guarantee yourself at least one of them. If they both had booster... <sighs> now, here's where I pretty much just, like, try to play test and try to test out damage numbers. His damage is actually surprisingly good, despite not having Berserker or, like, full stamina damage boost like strong attack damage like the Byakuya has but I will say that it is very inconsistent to get your spiritual pressure boost despite me getting it upon my first strong attack <laughs> you'll see that the first strong attack will hit for about 20k which is really good to see because when you multiply the amount of hits it's roughly let's see 20k with killer is 32k times uh, 12 32 times 12 if I do my if I'm, I'll just put out the calculator right now 32,000 times 12 we get 384,000 with our first strong attack that's really good to see I'm hitting for 22,000 there with the spiritual pressure boost so like that 384 goes up to like three it probably goes up to about like 420,000 with the first strong attack that's not bad All right, checking out the soul bomb now here I do check it out and test things out because I don't have spiritual pressure boost which is why at the bottom you'll see like 25 30k but at the top you'll see the 85k right yeah you see how Renji took like two uh, 23k I, I'm pretty sure that that was supposed to be 235,000 but in my like in the quick view that I got of it I thought it was 23k so what I do here is uh, I actually take out another run and play test to see exactly how much damage we deal with our spiritual pressure boost while not procking a status ailment on that particular enemy and here you'll see me actually struggle to get the spiritual pressure boost I'm using the nad string in retrospect that probably could have placed my third strong attack better but you'll see here like struggling to get our spiritual pressure boost i'm even using my nad stream because it deals less damage than my strong attacks finally able to get it that enemy does not have a status element boom boom 78k with the you know 10 percent damage from the combo bonus we end up getting roughly like 85k so i'm i figure okay you know 85k very 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 good round number i'll just take the 85k from the previous stuff and we can calculate this in and actually play test with the damage now so we take the 85,000. now what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply it by 1.6 this is going to give us the 136,000, which would be what we would hit for an enemy that has killer right 
Then we're going to take this and multiply this by 1.4 and then add the extra 1.4 so it's going to be 1.8 here. All right, so we're going to take the 85,000, multiply the 1.6 for the killer. Now we're going to multiply by 1.5, then 1.8, and that's going to give us the damage to weaken with the damage to weaken and slow enemies 80%. Then we're going to multiply it by 3, get 1.1 million, add the initial 136,000, and we're dealing 1.23 million, almost 1.24 million with our soul bomb. And this is, keep in mind, 1 out of 5, without uh well this is with switch pressure boost but this is without like de like devastation plus 60 percent or bombardment which is really good damage for a one out of five unit just keep in mind that now we're i'm using uh, the focus plus 400 which is actually helping us out quite a lot now here i turned it on auto because i wanted to see how bad the ai is and you'll see here his AI is probably some of the most horrible AI you'll ever see in your life. He is refusing to use his second strong attack, which is the only strong attack that is actually protecting his full stamina strong attack cooldown 6%. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm still like dumbfounded with the amount of bad AI decisions that range characters make, despite, in my opinion, complaining about how bad the range AI is for the better half of a decade. Oh my god, that's so sad. Look at that, he even let his he even let his barriers go down and refuses to use it, bro. I feel like the AI has gotten dumber and dumber, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I do like Bago. I, I think that Bago's pretty damn cool. I had to turn off auto because I'm just like, I'm like, I can't have these ranged AI <laughs> like just mess up everything, dude. Which I was kind of sad because I really wanted to keep using Asnot, but I wanted to like calculate stuff on the side. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much Asnot in a nutshell. I think he's a very, very good character. I just kind of wish that K-Lab put a little bit more thought about what these characters should be good at. Like, I feel like these characters are both, like, good slash great, but I feel like, I feel like they don't excel anywhere. Right, like, I, I like you don't have increased status element chance on the as not. He doesn't have status elements on his second. You saw me struggling to get the SP boost uh, every now and then when that accounts for a good portion of his damage, if not most of his damage, uh, damage output, right? Like, proccing your status elements to get that 80% damage. Like, that essentially becomes, okay, cool, did you proc? Cool, the enemy's dead. And if they're not dead, then... Uh, no, nah, if they're not dead, you're, they're, they're gonna die eventually, right? <laughs> but either way, I do like the ass not. I do, I do like the banner overall as a whole. I just wish Kayla put a little bit more thought into this banner. But I'm leaving it guys. Just grind all catch up here. Stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you need. If y'all enjoyed this video, have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh yeah, I also thought it was weird that like as not's like pink here, but then the Senbon Sakura like the Sakura blossoms are blue in his little image. I, I don't know. Kind of poor, poor detail design, I guess.